Hi, my name is Kyle Miller, and this is my story dealing with several concussions. My first concussion was probably my most significant one. I was about 11 years old, just starting into fourth grade. Um, I was at a minor league baseball game, and I was actually getting an autograph from some player. I didn't really know the players, but I was told he was the best. He was cool to see. I uh, was getting my autograph, and suddenly somebody yells, Duck! And the guy that I'm getting my autograph from drops down, and the ball comes flying in and hits me right in the face. It hit me this side of the face. It uh, knocked out my tooth, and that was actually a permanent tooth, so I wound up ha needing to get a fake one put in, and I've had that ever since. My second concussion I had at the start of sixth grade, it was probably the most fluky concussion that just hadn't really thought anything of it until the next day when I was having trouble. Um, I was out in the backyard throwing a football around with some friends and we were th running back and forth and a ball was going up and I was running and catching it and then next thing I know I'm running full speed and right into that tree and head first I went rolling down the hill and I don't believe I was unconscious but I don't know for sure kept on going on just oh crap that looked like it hurt dude my third and final concussion that I know about it was towards the end of sixth grade I was playing in a soccer game and it was just a really hot day and wasn't hydrated enough went up to hit a ball and just a little tap on the head, collided heads with someone. I don't know. I don't remember how hard I hit them, but wasn't feeling right. Got home, wasn't really walking right. Just was kind of limping a little, just wobbly. Wasn't feeling good. Um, nobody had really even noticed it. Noticed the con like the initial blow to the head. So my biggest issues from the concussions mainly revolved around short-term memory loss, focusing, lighting, and uh, my tr I had a lot of trouble with crowds. Biggest sacrifice was probably pulling out of school, making the final decision that I can't be in school. The lighting was messing with me, the crowds and everything. I had to pull back, go into the computer and take my classes there, which has worked. However, it's removed all aspect of the social activity with school, which is like the only thing that's really a kid wants to do when he's in school. That was probably the biggest sacrifice. Contact sports, I wasn't allowed to play them anymore. And I remember a doctor actually told me, we went out to Baltimore for a doctor's appointment, and um, we were just sitting there and he told me, you're probably not going to be able to play any contact sports. And he corrected himself, no, I'm sorry, you're, you're not going to be able to play any contact sports. I didn't really take them very serious until whenever just was thinking about getting back into it and then started to realize, oh wait, I can't, I can't do this anymore. I had the potential to get into certain things like uh, golf and all that. It just didn't appeal to me as much. So that's when I started to take up interest in all kinds of other things. My hobbies definitely changed big time. Starting off I was really into physical and sports and just running and constantly staying active and that was what interested me but after not being able to do any contact sports, taken away from soccer, I started looking at other things, just cars, uh, photography, editing, video, all, all that stuff and found a lot of interest in just art in general and creative thinking and that's kind of where I've been going towards lately. Uh, within the last year my mom and I actually have started a small business with 
uh, sports and family photography, doing anything from sports to uh, events or really anything. Um, it's been kind of something fun that we can do together and not long after starting this business with my mom I wound up connecting with my friend Andrew to start up doing photography with him for just local artists and he had already started doing music videos and we were able to bring that together and start doing photography as well. Coming out of it all, I'm really thankful for my friends and family who have been behind me from the start. I'm thankful for the hobbies that I've been able to develop thanks to these unfortunate events. Um, that's pretty much my story. Thank you for listening. <laughs>